Margaret from Sewing Machine Warehouse in Penrith, Australia and this lesson I'm going to show you how to take up a pair of jeans. I get asked this question all the time and I demonstrate it. So I'm going to show you how it's very simple. Now one thing when you've purchased your jeans, wash them first, if not twice, um, and then any shrinkage will happen in those two washes. Then try your jeans on whoever you're taking the jeans up for and place a pin like fold them up place a pin marking where you want the hem to be then put them on your um, table and allow from your pin exactly three centimeters because we're going to turn them up one and a half centimeters and then one and a half centimeters again this is not a job for the overlocker we're going to make the hem look exactly like they did uh, in the uh, factory. Now, admittedly, that's not a very good job in the factory, but I've cut it off anyway, and we're going to make it look exactly like that. So, there I have cut my jeans. Now, the other thing you need to establish is exactly which colour thread you need to use to match the stitching that you've already got on there. So this is the stitching I'm talking about. Now, unfortunately there's two good matches for this color and I've established that this color will match the best. Okay, now this is called Gudeman Extra. It's a slightly thicker thread and it will go through your needle. It's not necessary to put it in your bobbin as I'll show you how. The other thing you need to match is a thread, a normal sewing machine thread or you know a Gudeman thread that will match your jeans exactly. So as you can see, if you lay the thread out, there it is there, you'll find that that blends in with your fabric the best. Okay, that's what you need. You need your thicker thread and your matching jeans thread. Alright, now we'll take that over to the sewing machine. Okay, now we're at our machine. You'll need to turn your jeans inside out, like so. Okay, well, we'll just get the machine ready now. Um, I'm going to do this on a Fast Select 4. It's just a basic sewing machine, but it does have the dual feed here at the back. It's an excellent um, tool to my sewing. Now, I also need to change my needle to accommodate the thicker thread and also the, the, um, the denim. This is quite thick denim and it also has um, lots of double stitched seams. So this needle is a Jeans 100. Okay, and it's also the new coating now has uh, two colour bars. The blue being for jeans and the purple signifying the size, which is a size 100. So I'll place that in my machine. Now the other thing is, this little handy gadget comes with this machine. We also sell it separately. It's called a clearance plate, but it has a hole in here um, which holds onto your needle so that when you place your needle in, it holds onto it for you. Well, and it gets it in the right position as well, so it won't spin around. So that's a good little gadget. And the other thing I've placed on the machine is my bi-level top stitch foot. And this is a new foot from Faf. And what it does, it has a cavity underneath, which allows for the thick thickness or the uneven thickness when you're hemming and also has this red marking which helps me stay straight. Place that on your machine. Go to your jewel feed. Okay, now what I've done is I've threaded my machine, actually no I haven't, um, I'm about to thread my machine with the blue thread that matches my um, jeans. I've already placed the bobbin in there. So, 
We need to lengthen our stitch, so I've got it on three and a half. And we'll have our needle. I'll establish where I need to have my needle in a second. I'll take this off. This allows for free arm sewing. Um, take your jeans. Now working from the inside seam, place that part of the uh, leg or cuff in first. Yep. Now what we do here is there's no overlocking required. If you do have a little bit of bulk which you can reduce, just snip that off like that okay taking away that excess makes it easier for the machine now you can't reduce that one so we'll have to cope with that one but I'll show you how that works so what you do is you fold up your hem about a centimeter and a half Start with that first and we'll see how we go. And then again, roll it over. Now, if you like, you can pin it just to help you get that underneath. But I don't pin the rest of it, and I'll show you why as I go. So I'll just pin those two bits. Now, starting on this side. So in front of that seam, we won't go over it just yet. Hang on, it's quite thick there, isn't it? And I'll remove my pin. Okay, now this little red marking helps me line that up. There we go. So line that up with the folded edge of the hem there. Okay, now I need to move my needle over. So I'm just going to move it as far as it will go. That's as far as it will go. And just start stitching. Don't worry about reversing because when we come back we'll overlap that bit so turning up your one and a half centimeters and then turn it up again and just straighten that out I love this machine it's so quiet okay now we're getting to our first bump this point we need to just stop before we get to the bump right there okay now this is the gadget I'm going to use today it's like I said it's called the clearance plate it has two thicknesses now to match that thickness three times over it's probably the thin side what you do is you stop with your needle in the fabric raise the foot and just place that so the gap goes underneath the foot and then lower the foot onto it. Okay, I should probably bring it in a little further like that. Okay, now what that's done is leveled out your foot making it easier for the machine to go over that bump. Now this works on any machine. It's not a, um, a spare part. It's actually an accessory. And that goes over nice and easy and comes out the other end. Okay, we'll get that ready for the other bump, which is the thicker one. So we're coming to that bump in just a second let me just rotate that so that all the bulk is at the front and just smooth that out with your finger 
like so. Now you see why I don't pin, it's not necessary to pin all that up. This is the one where people get stuck on, depending on your machine. A lot of machines won't go over that thickness anyway, but I'll show you what to do. So this is now the thicker side, and just place that underneath the foot, level with that bump. Okay, so you can see that's going to distribute um, my foot evenly over that bump and just slowly go over now at this point if just be careful it doesn't get caught on the lip of the machine there but anyway now take it nice and easy okay if you have to hand turn it do so but it will go over and that just comes out the back but before you take it away just put it at the front just to help you get over that bump both sides now when you've cleared that bump one more stitch okay so the foot's now clear of the bump take that out okay and reverse at this point just reverse once okay don't come backwards and forwards that's not important now we're going to clip that. So you can see that we stitched over that bump there. Both sides. Okay, so that was thanks to the clearance plate. Alright, now I'm just going to set the machine up to do the thicker stitching. Okay, so we'll just do that. Okay, now we're up to the step, uh, the final step, where we top stitch with our thicker thread. So you'll need to turn your jeans right side out now. Okay, and we need to thread up with our extra thick thread, Gudeman Extra. Now for this thread, because it's slightly thicker than normal thread, we need to increase the tension. So where it was on five before, we might turn it up to about six and a half. All right, that applies to all machines. Ooh. Now, you'll probably find your needle threader won't work with this. So you'll have to thread this thread through the needle yourself. Now remember, you're leaving the same blue thread you used before in the bobbin. Okay, we don't change that one. Now the other thing you'll need to do, if you do have a machine that has a half speed or a low speed, you'll need to uh, flick it over to slow speed. Alright. That just uh, slows the machine down so you don't go faster than you should. Now we have our piece that we cut off. I'm going to do a test sew first on that just to make sure I've got my tension right. Now remember it's a long stitch so I've got it on about three and a half. Perfect. So six and a half is the perfect tension. What I'm looking for, okay, that's my test sample, is the stitch definition 
but no excess looping underneath. So you can see the blue thread, but you can't see any of the um, top stitching thread. So that's great. Now we're good to go. Remember to start on the inside, on the inside seam, just forward of that big bulky seam, which we'll do in a second when we come back around. Now we need to line up the stitching that we did previously so that we can stitch over the top of it. So I might move my needle over slightly. That's it. Okay, perfect. So what I'm trying to do now is to line it up on top of that previous row of stitching. Can you see that? Come to the bump again, so needle down, place our clearance plate underneath, I think we should be able to get over that bump quite easily, alright, Okay, now we're coming to the more difficult one. Needle down. Thicker part of our clearance plate. Okay, now this might struggle a little bit because we're on the good side, but I'll just hand turn that. Okay, bring the plate to the front. Stop. Now, at this point, I don't want to reverse, so I'm just going to overlap my stitching and stop. So, probably three stitches is fine. See that? And pull that out, turn it over to the back, and just tug on that thread, and you should be able to bring that stitch to the back. Take a pin, bring that to the back, and the other one, there you go, now you can tie those off into a knot, but there you go, better than the original. Okay, so all you need to do then is give it a press and you've put your jeans up professionally. I hope you find that easy. Now, there's no excuse for having jeans dragging on the floor. <laughs>